Hello and welcome to another session of Pilates and Curl. Today's focus point is forearms and arms and your calf muscles. So uh, as a disclaimer, I should uh, remember or remind you of once more. If certain movements are not prescribed by your physician or by your doctor, please try and avoid those exercises or those moves. Today's workout will be focusing mostly on calf and your forearms. So this will also uh, focus on your or your uh, give pressure to fall on your secondary muscles like your uh, elbow area, shoulder area, back area and your mostly glutes and quads. So those are additional benefits. However, as uh, the topic goes, I repeat, it's only calf and your forearms. So we have to focus though in those areas only. Now, uh, today's session again will be for 30 minutes. In this session, we'll first go for 10 minutes of warm-up. Then we'll go for main exercise. Today's exercise will be uh, four exercises which we'll be uh, doing today. We'll try to finish off three sets of certain number of repetitions which I will let you know while we are in the uh, session on. And at the end of the session, we'll go for a cool down. Please do not forget to comment after every session because your comment will help us to improve and give you more impactful session. Also, please do not forget to mention if you have some specific query or specific areas where you want to uh, show me to, to, for some Pilates moves. So, without wasting any more time, let's start with today's workout. So, let's first do the warm up. So, for warm up, first of all, we'll keep our both hands behind our body, keep our legs like this. Now, in this for your core muscles, keeping your abdomen in and chest up. Every time you exhale, you have to push your head up and down like this. Exhale up, down, up, down. There's a minor movement of your head. This will stretch your ankle and will give a little bit of you know, activation around your uh, chin area, TBI and your calf muscles. So let's start. Exhale. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, to relax. Now we will do the same exercise. We are keeping our pelvis up in the air and repeat again, push your heel up. And it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and relax. Okay. See, the portion which I am maintaining is like my pelvis is a bit down. I could have to get a bit high, however, if you keep it high, the pressure will be mostly coming on my shoulder, which we don't want, as our focus point is calf muscle and forearms. Now, let's keep our both hands straight. Every time you exhale, you have to push your fist or your palm inward and pull it. Again, up inward. So down inward, up inward. Down, up. Let's start. Exhale, pull one. Exhale, one down. Two up, two down. You can elbow straight. Three up, three down. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. 10, 10. It's very difficult at times to focus or to feel the pressure on the focus muscle. So for that we have a technique which we will try to adapt it and show that technique later on. Let's come with the uh, warm up. Now we will go down on our knees, maintain the quadruped portion. We will again stretch our forearms muscles and we will also walk for our wrist as a warm-up part. So keep your fist on the down. Make sure it's under your elbow, uh, under your shoulder, and your knees are under your pelvic. So every time you exhale, you have to push your shoulder down and up. Exhale down and up. So this movement will help to activate your shoulder muscle because this will also be in activation or is properly used by the body for your forearms. So let's start. Exhale, down one, up, two 
down, up. Three down, up. Four down, up. Five down, up. Six down, up. Seven down, up. Eight, nine, ten, and relax. Maintain the same portion. We will try and bend our fist inward like the way I have done it. Your wrist should be bent in both the wrists. Okay. If you feel that you cannot bend your both wrists together because there is excessive pressure on your wrist, then go for one by one. So as a beginner or as a first time uh, performer of this particular exercise, let us go for one by one hand. So let us first bend our left hand and the right hand should be given in normal palm uh, support. So with every exercise, try to bend and go down towards the ground. Exhale down one. Full pressure should be on your left hand. Two, three, something like push ups. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Repeat the same exercise for the other hand. Bend your right hand, the wrist, and complete pressure on your right hand. You have to control the, the load which you uh, moving on your right hand, make sure the load is not excessive, or I, neither it's very less. So let's go. Exit now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Okay, good. So you can feel how your wrist muscles are completely activated. So now, the technique to feel the pressure on the pressure point is before you start the exercise, you have the two options. Either you have to use your four fingers to beat these those areas or to slap on those areas where you have to work. Like this, if it's a forearms, you have to beat it. If you are getting a burning sensation, that means it's getting activated. While doing the exercise, you will feel those muscles. Just to give your mind a signal that we are going to work for those muscles. Because at times I've seen it's very difficult for us to make a person realize that yes, you are getting proper uh, pressure on your focus point. And if the mind body coordination is not happening, then the effect of the exercise will go into training. This is one uh, way of doing that. Otherwise, we can use our thumb to press those areas where we are focus. So if it's a tough muscle, we we'll use our thumb and remaining fingers also to press as hard as possible and then release. Press as hard as possible with all the fingers and then release. We will do the same thing for the next leg. Press as hard as hard as possible and release. Do not use your nails. Press as hard as possible and release. So this pressing will give you effect while you work out, your mind will be able to focus and understand these are the muscles where we have to work. Same thing goes for your forearms also. Press as hard as possible. And release. Press. And release. So let's start with the main workout. So in, uh, for today's workout, we will be requiring uh, a simple prop, which is uh, 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 this is a uh, band kind of, of cotton band. You can use any long towel or you can use anything uh, which is long enough which you use for wrapping. Or else if you have a resistance band or a pair of band, something like this, or any kind of pair of band, you can please bring that so that we can start with the exercise. So whatever you want to use, you can use. You have to sit straight. You have to take the band or the piece of cloth or the towel just under your fingers around your big toe, uh, below your big toe. Keep your spine straight, keep the abdomen in. Use your both hands to pull your toes inward. However, you should not slip. Every time you exhale, okay, now, uh, before we start, you have to keep on in mind. You have to pull your legs so much so that you move. Heels are above the ground, however your calf muscle is on the ground. Basically your entire leg is on the ground, however your heels are above the ground. If you can maintain this posture, you can get a maximum pressure during the exercise. So 
So engage your lymph muscles, take a deep inhale, carefully exhale, push your toe outward. Ready? Start. Exhale, push. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go for 15 repetitions. Six, seven, feel the pressure on your calf muscles. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. If you have not felt anything on your calf muscles, don't worry. You have enough time to feel that. Immediately go supine. Lie down on your spine. After lying down on your spine, keep your legs on the ground and the have can be. Push your pelvis up in the air. Engaging all your core muscles. Make sure your pelvis is now only up in the air. Every time you exhale, you have to raise your heel up. So like this. Exhale up. One, two, three, fifteen repetitions. Four, exhale up. Five. Six, push as high as possible. Seven, as high as possible. Eight, now feel your calf muscles. Nine, ten, eleven, keep your abdomen in. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I'm sure you might have felt a little bit of pressure at least surrounding your calf muscles. Let's go for the third exercise. Third exercise will be completely focused on your Forms. So you have to hold the same towel with all the resistance band with full resistance. You have to hold it straight and every time you exhale, just like the uh, if you are riding a bike, you have to twist your fist inward, inward and outward. It's up, down, up, down, and you have to feel that you are moving something which is very tough to move as if you are moving it with some resistance. So let's start. Ready? The gap width should be a bit more the length, both the hands should be a bit shorter than the shoulder length. One, two, three, start. Exhale, pull in, push up, down, up, three, up, exhale, four, up, five, feel the muscle squeeze, six, feel the forearms, seven, isolate it, eight, exhale. 9, 10, 11, 12, if you add 13, 14, 15. Repeat the same exercise by keeping your hands 90 degree towards your body. Same exercise. I will tell you why we are doing this repeated exercise just by changing the posture. There's a reason for behind it. Excellent. 1, 2, Three, exhale while you pull it downward. Four, five, exhale down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Have you felt anything around your calf, uh, around your uh, forearms? If not, you are about to build it Okay. See, forearms mostly consist of, um, I mean, probably consist of four muscles. So these four muscles can only be attacked, only be uh, worked upon on two angles. One is the straight angle, second is the folded angle. While I'm holding my hand and doing it, I have asked to exhale while pushing it down. Why? Right? Because you can feel mostly around the uh, inside portion of your calf muscles of your, sorry, your forearms. However, if you keep it straight and push, exhale while you're pulling it upward, you can feel it on the upper side, upper portion of your forearms mostly. So this is how we can activate both the uh, upper and the lower portion of our forearms and all the four muscles which make our forearms. So this is how it works. So let's repeat all these exercises once more. That is for the second round. Now the repetition will go for 25, directly 25. First exercise. Take again the band, keep it around you, two, make it straight. Make sure there's a minor distance between both the feet. Ready? One, two, three, start, next and push. One, two, three, four, five, exhale, push, six. Seven, keep your abs in. Eight, keep your spine straight. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Immediately keep this by the way. Go down, so my down. Keep your legs pulled towards the body. You know, keep your hands beside your body. You can your core muscles. Pull it up, down. Every day you push a hill up. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Six, seven. Exhale. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. I feel the muscles now. Thirty. 14, exhale, 15, keep your abdomen in, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 5 more, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Immediately go for the fourth exercise, that is for your forearms, grip, the band once more, a firm grip should be there. Uh, the distance should be a bit shorter than your shoulder length. Ready? 25 repetitions on my count. 1, 2, 3, exhale up, down, exhale up, down, feel the resistance up, down, use full pressure up, down, exhale up, down, squeeze your forearm muscles up, down, full squeeze up, down, go up, down, send. Exhale, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, exhale, come out, 19, feel the pressure, 20, 5 more, 21, 22, feel the pressure on your calf. 23, so like 4 arms, 24, 25. Fold your hand and repeat the same exercise. Now exhale while you're pulling it downward. Exhale down, pull. 1, 2, keep your abdomen in. 3, chin tuck. 4, exhale. 5, 6, feel your forearms. 7, squeeze your muscles. 8, 9, 10, exhale to your mouth. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, exhale, 16, 10 more, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now, let me share with you one very interesting thing. Our Four arms and calf muscles are two uh, important yet uh, interesting area of our body is that uh, this area soreness doesn't stay for a long time. So if you are working for your calf muscles or for your forearm, uh, if you are uh, working on your calf muscles or your forearm, if it is getting so that's fantastic, but this soreness will not uh, stay for a long time. This soreness will go off uh, within one day or maximum one half days. So you can, you can walk on your forearms and on your calf muscles immediately after uh, one day's rest. And these are the areas which are mostly used while doing some upper body exercise or lower body exercise, especially if you are a runner, cyclist, or doing a very active life, doing different activities, physical and mental activities as well. These areas are in, always in action and uh, if you work for these areas, you will, can avoid certain cramps and pull, especially on the calf muscles during night, which, is, uh, which happens because of lack of you know, water and uh, lack of magnesium and there are other reasons also. So you need to work on your calf muscles very, uh, on a, a very regular basis. So let's go for the third round, or the last round. Uh, let's go for the first exercise. Now the uh, last one, I will be using my resistance band. You can use your or uh, any other band which I am using. So let's use the resistance band. 
my resistance band has got a loop. I will keep my push put my tools inside the loop. Yes. And hold the remaining portion of the resistance band in the hand. Ready? One, two, three, start exit push. One, two, three, full push. Four, five, six, seven, eight, push. Eight, nine, ten, eight, seven, out. Eleven, now thirty-five pounds. Twelve, thirty-five, thirty, forty, keep your spine straight. Fifteen, sixteen, and six, seven, eight, push your mouth. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Good. Let's go for the second exercise. The second exercise now we'll give a small improvisation. And that improvisation is we'll be using our single cuff or single leg. So we will go down to my one leg on the other leg. So we can use full pressure on single leg. So 35 pounds for each leg. Ready? Against your core muscles, push up and up and start. Exit, relax. One, two, three, four, five. Feel the difference. Six. Feel the pressure. Seven. Abs in. Eight. Nine. 35 eliminations. Ten. Eight. So turn off. Eleven. Twelve. Turn down the end. Thirty. 14, 15, full focus on your calf, 16, full focus on your calf, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Immediately switch your leg. Do not keep your pelvic down on the ground. Ready? One, two, three, start. Exit up. One, two, three. Exit through your mouth. Four, five. Exit through your mouth. Six, seven. Abs in. Eight, nine. Feel the back muscles. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and great. We are done with this darkness exercise. We will quickly switch to the next exercise which was supposed to be for our four hours. Again, 35 repetitions. So take the band, whatever you're using, grip it nicely. Uh, distance should be a bit wider or shorter than your shoulder length. Exhale while you pull it upward, okay? Ready? You have to squeeze your calf muscles, uh, your, sorry, your uh, forearms muscles. Ready? One, two, three, start. Exhale, pull up. One, two, three. Exhale, up. four, five, six. Exhale through your mouth. Seven, eight, nine. Exhale, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Exhale through your mouth. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and I'm 28, exit your mouth, 29, 30, feel your heart, 31, 30, feel your four arms, 33, 34, 35, immediately. Put your hands in and repeat the same thing with an exit while you're pulling it downward. Exhale, pull down. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, full pull. Six, seven. Squeeze your forearm muscles. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Exhale, to your mouth. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Focus on your forearms. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8 of your mouth, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Good. So that was our main workout for our calf muscles and for our forearms. So now we'll go to cool down. Cool down is very important. And as you do the proper stretching and cool down, your workout area and muscles will get typically sore and you can get unwanted cramps. So cool down is very important to get a maximum effect of whatever we have done till then. Let's go for cool down. Just now, keep your body straight, keep your legs straight, keep your hands a bit behind your body. Just relax. Every time you exhale, just rotate your ankle clockwise for 10 times with every exhale through your mouth and anti clockwise with every exhale through your mouth. Keep your heels on the ground. Every time you exhale, you have to keep your push your toe down towards the ground. Exhale, 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 and exhale. Okay. Now keep your arms straight. Every time you exhale, if you just twist your arms, exhale, twist, exhale, twist, exhale, twist. Very good. Now, you have to twist your wrist, making a fist. Exhale, one, two, three, this is the outward movement. Four, five, six, no soft, seven, eight, 9, 10. Now opposite twist. Exhale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now hold your fingers. After holding your fingers, push your hands out and put it in. Exhale out. In. 10 times. 1, 2, 3, Four, exhale five, six, seven, exhale to your mouth, eight, nine, and ten. Now, you have to shake your hands just to relax a better way. Shake your hands in inward like this. You can move your head. Diagonally downwards your chin, left to right and right to left because your neck was in a very activation mode by walking for your forearms. So you can repeat the same thing with me. Now, very softly push your neck side to side, down, exhale, 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 exhale. And relax. That was all for today. Uh, see you in the next session, which will be on next Friday. I hope if you have worked out with me or if you want to follow uh, this particular video again by remembering all the, all the exercises, then this will be a very effective exercise for those target muscles, which are your forearms and your calf muscles. So uh, we'll be coming up with more interesting things. Stay tuned and don't forget to come in. Thank you.